Hello everyone, it's nice to be back. Um, it's been a few months now since I did any crafting. Um, so I'm trying to get back into the swing of things. I haven't been idle particularly, I've been doing a lot of crochet and knitting, a little bit of sewing. Um, but today I've got um, a green fairy journal and it's uh, just a basic writing journal. And to accompany that, I've made a little folio to go with it. I'll just start with this. Um, right, first of all, the, uh, the digital download that I used was from Jennifer Scraps on Etsy. I just like the images of the fairies. So I've just got little pockets with tags in, booklets. Um, some tags in the top. Uh, those, who, those who don't believe in magic will never find it. I've just popped a few of these little sayings inside. That's just a little drop down so you can write on that. And on this side we've got a, a flip up and that's got a um, little pocket with some more wording and a tag. This is a little booklet, pages to writing, a little bookmark pegged at the top, envelope with a little bit of writing inside. And the back pocket with some more tags in. I suppose you could use that for anything. Um, just trimmed up with some beads here and there. So that's the little folio with Always Believe on. Uh, I'll just put that to one side. This is the journal and I thought I'd make a plain one just to write in. No fuss. So that... Um, Uh, it's uh, well, it's just easy to write, and you've got no fripperies, no embellishments to mess about with. Uh, someday you'll be old enough to start reading fairy tales again. And we've got an illustrated page, a tea dye page, page in green, another illustrated page. Tea dyed green, and so it goes on throughout the book. So, plenty to journal with. There are three signatures. I love that image, and I love green. So I'll just flip through it and show you the images. It's such a pretty digital. That's a nice one, isn't it? Um, I can't remember what I used to do the green. to me. Another lovely image there. So a very sweet plain journal as I say to writing. It's a sweet face. Uh, there are lots of fairy digitals out there, but uh, I just like this one. It wasn't too twee, and it wasn't, uh, you know, it wasn't over the top. And at the back, I've just popped a pocket in with a, a board. So that if you do want to write in it, you can put your board behind, and you've got something to substantial to lean on. 
right, so one journal with a little folder tied with some sorry silk. And to go with this, I've made a little fairy, a little green fairy. Now with this fairy, it's a little bit different to the ones I usually do. I've left her wings loose. They are anchored with stitching. I left them loose to give her uh, the, the impression that she's uh, flying or can fly. Um, usually I really um, Uh, secure them that way and keep them flat but I just like the idea of them being loose so we've got this little green fairy with yellow trims she's got a little skirt under skirt and frillies underneath some tiny little shoes with beaded flowers And I just made a little bag to pop her in by using one of the images from the kit. Right. So, um, this book and fairy, uh, the set is for sale if anyone is interested. I'll leave my email address for you if you are. Um, and I will be back again, not not too far away because um, I've got some other things to show you um, projects that I've been doing and um, I look forward to uh, communicating, communicating with you again soon I've missed being here thanks everyone bye for now